we got a few canvases. The lady at the front desk was like, oh, you have a shipment. And I ordered all of these, but I didn't think they were all gonna come at once. So yeah, we have some unpacking to do. Some of them are orders, and I have a couple wedding canvases actually. All right, so these are the ones that I'm most excited about. So let's see how they turned out. Yes, that turned out amazing. that I took back in 2015. It's one of my favorite photos I've ever taken, but this edit I absolutely love. Um, it just has more of like a matte, kind of just a little bit more of a moody edit from when I first started. Um, I'll show you the before photo. This is what it looked like originally when I took it back in 2015 in my original edit, and this is now. So I don't know, you tell me, which one do you like better? This is actually gonna be a Christmas present for the owners of our apartment complex. Um, they are amazing people. They gave us an amazing deal on this space and they said that they wanted to get some of my prints in the lobby. So I figured that I would just start the process by giving them this one and I am super, super stoked at how it turned out. So I guess the takeaway of this would be to not be afraid to go through and re-edit your photos because sometimes you'll look at something and say, what the heck was I thinking? Completely re-edit it and it'll have a completely different vibe. All right, so like I said, a lot of these are gonna be Christmas presents, so I can't tell you which ones are and which ones are ordered. So I'm just gonna show you a quick one of all of them. This is a wedding photo, Stephanie and James, back from earlier this year. They got married at the Detroit Historical Museum. And fun fact, you actually get a 12 by 18 canvas that comes ready to hang. Um, this is included in my wedding packages, so shameless plug. Just kidding, but yeah, so this is for them. And then we have this one, which is one of my favorite prints and one of my best selling prints actually. I have two of these ones um, that are going out. We have this one here that I took in Las Vegas. There was a crazy, crazy sunset and we were literally just walking down the street and I was like dying for a palm tree photo and yeah, stoked with how this one turned out too. And this is another wedding canvas, my friends Steven and Molly. Congrats to you guys again. I had a blast shooting your wedding. Um, so yeah, that one is for them. And then we have one more. And then we have this one, which I took last year in the middle of winter. It was literally like three degrees outside and I had just gotten an ND filter, a new ND filter, and I wanted to test out like super long exposures. So this is actually like a three minute exposure, um, which is why it has such a dramatic mood to it. I'm really stoked with how this one came out too. All right, so it's now a few days later and I was planning to have something really cool to actually end this vlog with, um, but as usual, things don't go according to plan. I got to do something really, really cool earlier this week that I was super excited to share and like I said, was going to be the end of this vlog and then I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to share it, which I should have known going into it. So I basically got to check out this really, really cool place that I've been to multiple times um, while it was abandoned and I got to see the progress on the building now and the plans for the renovation. It was kind of just like a full circle moment being able to go back to one of these abandoned buildings that I used to go into and seeing it was fully restored now and getting invited back and getting to see the progress was pretty mind blowing. And I guess I'm starting to learn sometimes that it's better to just experience things in the moment because a lot of the things that I get to do now, I can't share at least not yet or ever at all. And those are some of the best experiences I've ever had. Sometimes you just have to live in the moment and experience it without sharing it. Not to get on with even more excuses, but instead of that, I was planning to go out and shoot downtown um, to end this vlog with and go shoot kind of just the Christmas lights and just the holiday vibes downtown because I haven't really shot around downtown for fun a lot this year this winter but then I got super sick yesterday I woke up feeling like crap so I basically took all of yesterday and just did laundry and slept and I woke up feeling much 
better today. I feel okay, and you might still be able to hear a little bit in my voice, but my throat does kind of hurt. But then I actually went to my friend Trevor's house and got my hair done, which is probably why it looks different. It's really short, and it's also kind of straight, which I normally don't ever wear it straight. But shout out to you, Trevor. Uh, he actually blow dried my hair, which I never do, so that's why it looks like this. What you guys see usually is just my natural hair that I don't ever do anything to it. And he basically just re-highlighted it and gave me a cut. And because of that, my hair is super thick, so it took like four or five hours for that. So I didn't get home tonight until almost like seven or eight o'clock. And I didn't really feel like trying to rush and go out and shoot just to get something to put in this video. The whole reason I started this channel was to have fun with it and to not take it so seriously. But the more and more videos that I make, I start to put a little bit more pressure on myself to want to get better and better. And I had a lot of fun filming the beginning of this video with all the prints and us unboxing it. So instead of going out and shooting tonight, I decided to just wrap up the video here. Instead of going out and shooting for multiple hours tonight, then trying to wake up tomorrow morning and edit it all and have it ready to post before 9 p.m. Which again is a restriction I put on myself with the 9 p.m. every week uploads. But that's just something I wanted to prove to myself that it is possible. So I basically posted a video every day or every week for the past since like the beginning of October, I think. So yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys and kind of be transparent about how I'm feeling and why there was no photography in this one. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully it will inspire you guys to print your photos more often because there's nothing better than seeing your photos in real life and holding it in your hand versus seeing it on a screen. And Christmas is in two days, so hopefully you guys have a great Christmas and a great week. And yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on Monday for another video. Peace.